Hello, students. Hello, hi. Yeah, me audible? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, good afternoon. Just within one or two minutes, we'll start. Huh? Somebody, Nikhil, NKD, Dalal. Yeah, what's your problem, please? Sir, can you please speak loud? Yeah, me audible? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You you have raised it, I think, uh, NKD Dalal. No. Hello. Yes, sir. You, you have raised the hand, you know, that's regarding the assignments now. Sir, practice assignment, sir. Yeah, yeah. Just wait. Uh, within one or two minutes, we'll start that one only. Okay, sir. Just one or two minutes. Sir. Aditya, can you mute and Srijan? Yeah, is my screen visible? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Is it the practice assignments you are able to see then? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fine. Yeah, you have a specific clarification on any particular question on the practice assignment, or shall I go one after another, please? Sir, just summarize the topics of week two. Summarize the topics of week two. Definitely, I'll do it. But after the practice assignment is done, I'll do the summarizing also. No worries, sir. Huh? Question number eight and ten, sir. Okay, okay. Question number eight and ten. Any specific other than this? No, yes, sir. Sir, can you please explain once again, uh, at least in at most condition, please? Yes, yes. Uh, first, let us go for. Uh, uh, you know, assignment, uh, this practice assignment, question number 8 and 10. Then I'll go for that at most and at least. Huh? Shall I go with 8 and 10 now? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Fine. fine. Yes, sir. While, while we are discussing this summary of week 2, then we can discuss about uh, at least and at most. Huh? Sir, sir. Hello? Once that 8 yeah. and 10 is completed, then we will discuss yes, about summary yes, too, along with at most and at least. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 8 and 10, no? Yes, sir. Question number 8. Actually, that has been did for the downloading as a PDF for better uh, visibility. So are you able to see that? Eight yes, one? sir. Fine, fine. Look at that. I'll reduce the zoom. So, so what will the value of that C minus A? It represents that it's a multiple selection one MSQ. Let us we go over uh, what really is happening. You know, see as and when. See, look at 
so as and when a card is found in that card if the maths marks is lesser than the physics then the a value is increased b value is increased and c value is increased i think it's clear yes sir so whenever this condition is checked this is also checked because it's not else if remember that if it is else if if this is true this is not checked am i right yes sir here this condition is checked and this condition is checked at this time what happens you know the, whenever actually why it is you know this condition is checked along with this condition is checked but we are sure if my math marks is less than physics definitely this condition never happens one of them only happens am i right or wrong yes sir even you yes, don't sir. write that else if also similar way even you don't write else if also this is same thing is happening and similar way if this is true means definitely this never executed and this never executed i think that's clear any doubt please ask me then because it's not included else if someone might feel that this will be true and this will be true no because of this condition this relational operator makes sense this less than greater than equal to okay exclusively equality is there means it it increments this one whenever maths marks is greater than physics marks b is increased c is increased okay whenever maths marks less than physics marks then a is increased b is increased c is increased i hope you got it sir i have a doubt sir hmm sir if uh... Uh, maths marks is less than physics, and that increments A B C. After that, it won't come for maths and uh, physics. Yeah, after that, it doesn't come for this and this. Okay, sir, got it. Because because of this condition, actually, we'll think about that. We'll think about that because of this particular else if is not there. We are thinking this one also executed. But here, the relational operator carefully it is applied. You know, please understand the relational operator. This is making a difference. I hope you got it. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Even, even it will come here also. This yes, condition, sir. this condition never true because if it is already true, it doesn't. There is no chance it will come here. The control CPU control or otherwise the logical controller will come to here, but it it doesn't allow you to execute these two because of this condition. There is no possibility. I hope you got it, huh? Yes, sir. Fine. So now let us we go for that. what will be the value of c minus a okay represents that remember a will be increased a will be increased when the a will be increased if and only if and only a will be increased only at the time of maths less than physics so then only a will be increased okay please remember that point fine and at the same time b also will be increased c also will be increased fine is it clear yes. but yes, b sir. and c will be increased if and only maths greater than that physics fine and the c is alone increased that whenever physics alone and equal to the maths so let's we go for this one here number of students the c it contains what it is you know the c contains three kinds of totals what totals c contains that the number of students having physics marks is that means maths marks less than physics the number of students maths marks is greater than physics the number of students whose maths marks and physics marks is equal that means any time the c is increased no doubt am i right yes sir so yes, that so so that c contains what finally please tell me c is increased in all three cases because c minus a they are doing yes, exclusively yes. c contains exclusively what total number all of students sir exactly the total number of students it contains so here the total number of students means in comparison of please remember maths and physics only whether maths less than physics maths greater than physics or it might be that uh, maths equal to physics in comparison of maths and physics only here chemistry is not and what we don't worry about it but a is increased if and only if and only 
if and only that math is less than physics. Now we go for options. See, look at. We are getting a difference. C contains all students because here chemistry is not considered. All students count. Am I right? Because C yes, is you know, all students count. A contains only what is the first condition? Maths less than physics students count. Students count. Fine? Yes, sir. So fine. That's clear. So now we go for C minus A we are doing. C minus A we are doing means the number of students whose math marks is math marks are least. So as much as as much as physics, physics marks, marks, number of students whose marks are at most as much as physics. At most as much as means similar. Clear? Yes, sir. So now number of students whose physics marks are at least as much as mathematics. So here it is equal. Clear? Yes, sir. So the last one is there. Number of students whose physics marks are, oh, yeah, it is both of them are at most, but here it is as much as, as much as. That's the thing. Here it is B and D. See, look at that uh, B and D. At most, it looks like, say, maybe you are confused at that case. Am I right? Yes, sir. Fine. See, look at number of students whose math marks are at most as much as physics marks. The number of students whose physics marks are yet most as much as uh, mathematics marks here here yeah, that's what, what the thing might I, be. what is the difference between the at least and at most yes yes so at least is uh, uh, which is the minimum is equal clear mm -hmm. so oh, at most is that greater maximum. than is hello at most is equal to maximum yes maximum equal that's perfect so here what they did is physics marks are at most as physics actually physics marks as greater than the uh, you know mathematics marks but here that condition please look at here uh, yes here it is a condition is there because physics less than means mathematics is less than physics is greater than fine so d is perfect but whenever you come to that uh, answer b the number of students mathematics marks are at most that means mathematics marks you are comparing so any kind of comparison you are doing you are doing but incrementing of a is not done am i right here incrementing of b is done is it clear yes sir, it's clear so, so what difference it makes yeah increment of a increment of because you are sub you are subtracting c minus a but you are not subtracting c minus b i hope you got it if you are subtracting C minus B, this option is definitely correct. B options. Because math marks at most. Here math marks is at most. Here physics marks is at most. Clear? Hello? Yes, yes, sir. Maybe here at this place you might confused. Here what they did is that comparison of math marks less than physics means physics is maximum marks. Maths is least, physics is highest. Clear? Mm -hmm. Physics yeah. greater than. So that's the thing we are comparing at most. So maths marks at most, maths marks is higher. No. It is happened if and only the B if you are subtracting. Right now we are subtracting A. A is matching to the D option only. And mm -hmm. similar way, option A also correct. The reason is that number of students whose mathematics marks are least. See, look at here the least reason is here a is increasing even in this case whenever mass marks is less than that physics marks so at least will tell you that minimum yet most will tell you that maximum who is maximum who is minimum here at most they are using mean the left side pair is going to be higher clear yes yes sir that's the reason we got the right answer yes. is a and d. d a and d so, yes. so these two are not here also, please one more time, please check it why it is wrong also. 
the number of students whose physics marks at least as much as mathematics as this much as this one says as. physics marks is less than mathematics yes 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 so please go for it vishnu please start, uh, start interrupting please vishnu let her speak c c c i am talking about so, c you please sir sir okay. sir yeah sir can you please repeat once again actually i am joining right yes, okay okay, okay. okay. i larry i larry everything huh? i larry everything i'll tell you again huh? Is it okay? And sir, please sir, you speak sir. It's very disturbing when students speak like no, Vishnu and no, Harsh. No problem. It's really very no, disturbing, sir. No problem, madam. Again, I'll arrange. Not issue. We have a lot of time to discuss, sir. Huh? This, this video everybody. is recorded or it's not. Yes, recorded. yes, recorded and live streamed. Okay. So again, I'm arranging, sir. Huh? Yeah. Fine. See, it's not. We have a lot of time to discuss. Don't worry. So even you join late, you can interrupt me any time. So all the stuff can be deleted at all time. Yes. See, look at I'm going back for the eighth question. Is it eighth one? Yeah, eighth question. Eighth and tenth they asked the doubt. So most of the people are are facing a difficulty of at least and at most. Okay. So because of understanding, so let us we consider this pseudo code. So here, mathematics marks is smaller. So M is smaller. Remember. So M is smaller in the sense mathematics marks is at least. Please remember this word. Clear? At this time, A is increased, B is increased, C is increased. So whenever the mathematics marks is higher than physics, then mathematics marks is bigger or larger than physics. So at this time, what do you call is mathematics marks is at most. This is what a common kind of philosophy or equal kind of scenario in the problem solving techniques that is computational thinking. Here it is as much as which is called equal. Here both of them are equal. So here what they did is C minus A. The C is increased in all times like. it is increased at the time of mathematics marks is smaller it is increased in time of that mathematics marks is higher it is increased in the time of that mathematics marks equal to physics in this pseudo code chemistry is not considered no worries about it so c is having total c is having total count total count in the sense in all three cases like you know mathematics marks is least or mathematics marks is highest or mathematics marks equal to that physics marks in all the time it is counted like at this time it is counted at this time it is counted at this time it is counted definitely this count is more than a clear hello madam Are yes, you able to understand? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, 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 definitely, yes, yes, the C is increased to all kinds of students. The students who got math marks is smaller. The students who got that math marks is higher. The students who got math and physics marks are equal. This count is increased. Clear? Now, A is exclusively increased whenever mathematics marks is at least like like you know mathematics marks is. smaller than the physics then only a is increased now they are subtracting c minus a clear so we are getting the difference so let we go for that the difference where it is matching see look at the number of students whose mathematics marks is at least as much as physics marks see look at here a and d why it is you know the c is increased in terms of this one so that this option is correct mathematics marks are at least as much as physics and whenever you come to here mathematics marks are at most whenever they say about at most remember what is increased whenever mathematics marks is bigger a is not increased only b is increased but here subtraction we are doing c minus a clear hello no mathematics yeah. marks yeah. increase both a, uh, b and c are increased yes, 
B and B, yeah, B and C, they are the B and C. Hello. Yes. B and C are incorrect. The reason is here no, no, they no. are. Yeah. In the pseudo code, mm. when ma maths mast is increased, mm. both B and C are increased. Okay. Yes. Right. Both both B and C are increased, but we are subtracting C minus A, but not doing C minus B. Okay. 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 So that's the reason this B option is incorrect. If you are doing that C minus B, this is exclusive increment whenever maths max is greater than physics. This is all times increment C. Fine. So if no, you what do does this mean actually? Number of B? students whose no. maths uh, take option number two. Take option number yeah. two. Yes. Uh, option number two, you take. Okay. Yes. What does it mean? Number of students whose mathematics marks are at most, at most. as much as physics marks means what? So whoever the students, okay, whoever the students, the mathematics marks is bigger. That means count uh, higher than the physics marks because of at most. Um, could you what explain? is as much as, 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 as much as sir, mean? can't it be equal? What does it literally mean? No, no, no. At, see, at most, at most, no, it's not no, at most. Like at most, it says as much as two, right? as much as means equal, right? Exactly, yeah, yes, sir, at, yes, sir, at most as much, no, 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 at most oh. is a comparative thing, but then we're also saying as much as, so how could we just include both of them in one line? Is it mm. greater than or equal to? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay. As much as is making similar meaning, at most is making that higher meaning. Am I right? Yes. Yeah, that's it. No? Yes. Yes. That, so it means a, greater than or equal to. Greater than that, equal to. Yeah, yeah. That's what. That's what the thing. You. So you if are, it is yeah, greater than or equal to, then it comes to the last block, right? This is uh, last pseudo code, pseudo code, pseudo code. So this is, is equal, equal to, exclusive uh, equal. So here, ideally, here. when the control comes here, mm -hmm. then the uh, meaning of as much as should yes, come. Yes, yes, understood, right? understood. As much as meaning is that equality, mm. at most is that greater than, like you know, bigger, and at least is the minimum. Okay, okay. This as much is creating a problem. Mm -hmm. Sir, if we were to have uh, a equals to a plus one in the last block as well, which one? So we have a equals to a plus one in the first block, right? Can you go to the pseudo code? Yeah. In the so pseudo code? Have, yes, we have. We are incrementing a whenever we have physics to be greater. But okay. what if we? What if we also include uh, incrementing a in the last block, which is when both of them are equal, right? Whenever they are equal, also. But why right. do you want to do that? Because then I want to know the meaning of C minus A then. No, A, see, I No, that, that's okay. The, this A condition plus... pseudocodes is equal. No problem. This is exclusive increment that, sorry, it is the C is increased in all three cases. A is increased only at the time of mathematics is smaller. B and C, B is increased only at the case of that mathematics is bigger. But here the problem is this is as much as. Okay, am I right? Yeah. This is what no, making we a sense. Basically, literally not understanding the yes, meaning understood, of the sentences yes, in yes. all four sentences. Yes, yes, understood, understood. Uh, excuse Math. me, sir. Uh, tell me. Sir, uh, I think I have understood the doubt and I have understood the concept. Shall I try to explain if you don't mind? Yes, please you go ahead. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. So, uh, when they say at most as much as, they say that the maximum value of the mathematics marks should be as should be equal to the physics marks so the values no, it's a, it's lesser a count, it's a count no count them the values lesser should also like be like you equal. know 10, 10 students i am taking now for example clear in that way we can compare total students are 10 no, 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 one minute one minute let, let, her, so? complete her, point. let her complete her point can complete, you complete. Ahead, hello who was the other person who was uh, explain, trying to explain that? Can you continue on that, please, ma'am? Yes, yes, that was me, sir. Yes, yeah, yes, go ahead. Yes, sir. So what I meant was when they say uh, at most as much as, 
the maximum value of the maths marks should be can be equal to the physics marks or the the values that are lesser than the maximum maths marks can be equal to the physics marks so what we can include here is whenever math is either less than physics or equal to physics it holds true maths okay. less than physics or equal Listen, to that's physics that's what i'm asking right then we'll have to break uh, but at most in the last one again because only then we Actually, can yeah, I, I, this is the right right way of interpretation uh, <clears throat> i also think so but in in the discussions uh, i was a bit confused because uh, uh, satya was telling that it is maximum at most means maximum no uh, satya narayana sir was mm. right in saying the num it is the number of students not the number mm. of marks not yes, the mark. number of students yes he identified one good point please uh, let, i think we should not get confused what the concept here says is it is the number of students in mathematics who are above uh, the physics marks it is not the marks it is the number of students with those marks so uh, two points of view one is one is uh, you are saying that math students who have scored mathematics more than physics or equal to physics okay let this me see, let okay. me understand the other point the other point is number of students as much as physics means not more than physics or equal to physics these are two different contrary view which one is right okay let us take the example uh, option a number of students let's say there are three members whose marks are above the physics marks okay when we say at least it is above the physics marks suppose there are three students in mathematics who are having uh, more marks than physics above three actually here we have to compare two things one is the marks maths greater than physics or maths less than physics at the same time simultaneously we have to see how many number of people that is the crucial thing which satyanarayana sir was explaining mm -hmm. no but here is as much as making a sense no that's yeah, what yeah. Uh, we have you got that, it that, sir as much yes. as means that is the maximum at least means that is the minimum no no as much as is that similar similar lines of physics that mean for example here here the similar lines of physics here similar lines of physics maths is having similar count of students like you know maximum of maths uh, uh, count uh, students who are got the higher marks in the maths which is similar lines so of physics shall, shall we shall we write this way yes, for yes. option b hmm. m is less than or equal to physics okay option a m is greater than or equal to physics m is less than or equal to physics less okay. than equal to physics okay. okay and for option a m greater than or equal to physics so now with all this definition what we uh, understood about as much and least and all can anybody contradict this no no, no 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 wait wait, wait wait here it is at most no so we'll write that here maths marks as greater than or equal to physics because maths marks are most okay now maths marks is less than or equal to physics is it clear i think it's a uh, reverse in my view no yes. sir it should, it should be reverse i think it should be reverse sir okay yes. okay okay understood yes. understood yes yes reverse reverse yes, sir at least means great yes. sir why reverse yes. sir why reverse i couldn't understand understood understood yeah maths marks is less than or equal like to physics like and here maths marks is greater than or equal so you think this No. physics you think okay. this way maths marks are forget about as much as okay mm, just mm, to mm. take the least part maths marks are as least as physics means equal to or or about physics yeah so, you can simply so add, 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 add means uh, greater add, than add, equal to ah and at most means as than equal to good good and someone wants to tell something please please um sir i think Hello? to begin with we should uh, define what a b and c would mean 
that would clear up the problem a little more so that you would be clear with c minus a also sir i think uh, uh, problem in c minus a means no c minus a is perfect no issues about c minus a no sir uh, i think c minus a that means uh, the total number of student minus those students who acquired marks in mathematics as much as physics no lesser than physics lesser than physics hmm lesser than physics so yes. c minus a means all yes. the students whom who got marks equal equal in math and physics or the math marks were higher but not lesser that is what c minus a because means because c is increased all yes. the cases no mm here -hmm. yeah, as much is the problem no yeah so, because m is equal to p sir that's why no no where where is that m is equal to p means what is the problem b is incorrect uh, right because we have to find m is greater than and equals to p c minus a means m is greater than and equals to p hmm this one b is wrong yes sir because m is less than and equals to p hmm hmm that's what I understood but here as much as sense is making equality sense that's what the thing equality is right is it okay do you yes, agree sir. students but, but equal is right but we are right. also getting sir, less but than in enough. question that's there right. is not any that equal is to yeah, if it if we, you take the opposite that's of right. this then it, it will become the equal to and that's right as, sir i think shine problems are greater than or less than in between mathematics and physics at most is not more than no so not more than math marks is not more than physics mm. somewhat confusion is there even it is okay this what is okay so there are other questions also of at most and at least we'll see more it needs to solve through shall i move forward yes Yes, we'll, dis we'll discuss then this one regarding this uh, actual uh, synonym what really it senses, huh? Okay. Sir, Shall I move forward? Sir, so the solution available, na, sir? Hello? Solution available, na? Solution? Yeah, so no, solution is available. It says as A. Ah, solution is available. That's yeah, directly it's downloaded PDF. Yeah. But I downloaded from your, your from your da yeah, from your dashboard only. What what? problem sir hello answer problem sir as much as no no understanding problem maybe in this kind of problem if you get it for quiz examination how to solve it that's the thing solution if you understand that that's if you understand also fine if you don't understand that's what things so this kind of problem is that uh, a clear line is required am i right yes okay but See, I'm correct. Correct. Right. Solution, solution is we found that A counts the number of students whose mass marks that's okay. All this is fine. C is incremented in all the cases, sir. So what fine. is the problem? Sir? What's problem, sir? Here the understanding problem. So why it is that as much as this is what? Sir, but why uh, that uh, in hello, no, 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 there no, is a condition I am less than and correct, to sir. Uh, then both conditions Actually, should be code real, studio code code according according to studio code no i said no but here it is equality also right oh, yeah. you just look sir, at but, uh, point number a option number a okay mm, mm. So sir, but agree? in pseudo code there a. is not any equality sign so, you know, there is a condition regarding this this condition you are talking about greater than or equal to less than or equal to no yes yes sir after subtraction no they are talking why you are worrying about that one that is only counting purpose this is the subtraction after subtraction this sense makes sense am i right yes sir yes, sir. yes. i think we right just taking the complement of a sir let us proceed we will get another question of same again another question yes, yes sir there are so tenth many question, questions tenth question oh, that's also same the sim sim b b is been subtracted now yes this, this is very clear no yes this sir, this is not using at most and at least 
<laughs> yes sir <laughs> i think maybe due to that what it's removed or what <laughs> maybe yeah you don't worry about it the i first think this is... option using atmos and at least yes yes so that one i i'll figure out it i'll ask that what is that uh, real meaning of it so maybe it has been linked to that actually what really it senses as for is, the is the all missing terms, these terms at least at most as much as these are used okay no, no. Used. i think i think the or is miss, missing so it should be at least or as much as because we're taking the complement of a right which would also include whenever no 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 the the question is correct it means <laughs> at most equal to physics mark so as much as denotes equal to yes no, 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 because we cannot take both of these things in one sentence there should be an or between of course we can we we do use greater than equal to and less than equal to ah, yes we can oh, i think it is correct no i think it is correct because here less than and equals to both should be defined and uh, For less than it is. Instead of taking at most the maximum marks should be equal to zero. You are you are taking the time you take. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Please. Now it's fine. Ah yeah, it makes sense now. The number of students whose mathematics marks are at least or as much as physics. Yes. I don't know why. Both both are same. Even if you put or or you don't put, it's same. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Even you put it or not, it makes sense. Same sense. Yes, sir. Both are same. Both are same only. Then also. Okay. Okay. So the ninth question you can easily answer because there is no confusion about this one. No. C minus B. Ninth is B equal to number of students. Number of students whose mathematics marks are equal to physics because the B is incremented if and only. And if and only the equality condition, sorry, or uh, greater than condition, C is increased in all the cases. Fine. Yes. So let me go for that. Uh, subtracting B is subtracted. So the number of students whose mathematics marks are equal to physics. We have a remaining part of it. And number of students whose mathematics. Are, this is perfect. This is the equality is given. Yes. Then this is no confusion. So we can move to that tenth question. Yeah. Mm. See, I somebody asked me about tenth question also. I I'll think about this particular question of eight. Maybe any clarification regarding as much as an atmosphere. I'll okay. I'll fix it very soon. Hello. Skype can't function, sir. Sir, you are not audible, student. Hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Some disturbance is coming up. Something he is speaking then. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. जी सर जी सर अतुल अतुल कुमार आर यू आस्किंग एनीथिंग जी जी सर आर यू आस्किंग एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट एनी क्लेरिफिकेशन सर हमें फॉलो टैग पर डिस्क्राइब करने बता दीजिए योर योर वॉइस इज लो एंड योर वॉइस इज ब्रेकिंग वाओ सॉरी सर योर वॉइस इज नॉट एडिबल मे बी नेट मे बी नेटवर्क इशू Yes, sir. Question number ten, sir. Yeah, question number ten. I am going. See, question number ten. There are two different counts are there. Yeah, first count of A exclusively counts the female students from Chennai. Okay, it's clear, no? Yes, sir. It's clear. Once this entire loop is finished, all the cards from pile one is available in pile two. Because yes, this loop is stopped, one pile one is empty. Clear? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Now the same cards are repeated in pile two. Fine. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So in this, it counts that the students from Bangalore and who is not female not in the sense definitely it's a male. Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So B counts that number of students male from the Bangalore. Clear? Yes, sir. 
Yes. yes now, sir. now that A greater than B means definitely the first condition is greater than, then C is true. So when the C will be true? If and no, more students are from... Yeah, more students, female from the Chennai. Chennai. Then only it is. Then if there are yes. male students, more it is not correct. There are more okay. female students from Chennai. Yes, sir. Than, yes, but, sir. See, see. Female students is okay, but again they have used female tag here. No, sir, no, sir. But in male, no, sir, the... wrong. Yes, there are more student female students from Chennai. Then, then this is Chennai. a perfect answer. Yeah, that's a yes, perfect sir. answer. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Question so number eleven also. Yes, yes, I'm going. So question number three also. Okay, yeah, first, first, let us finish that question number eleven. So this is a card has been built with sequence number name of the student and student able to play maybe it is three or four games or five games he is giving list that's a list of games what do you call you know list of games it's a name and sequence number student name sequence number and list of games where he can play fine yes sir. so yes, sir. created a data set a procedure to count the number of students who poses the following conditions uh, the student plays at least three games like uh, the list of games it contains three and the student can play either cricket or football but not the both fine yes, any sir. one game any one game uh, either cricket or football but not both fine remember so but she have made some mistakes in one or more steps identify such steps if any Assume that steps are not listed in the options below or free from errors. Okay. So it is MSQ. Fine, fine, fine. So let's we go for that. All three variables we are setting that zero. So C, step eight. Yeah. C is going to maybe count of cricket and F is going to be football and X is going to be the overall counter. Fine. Yes, sir. So yes, let's sir. We go. Maybe the reliable variable name they are using. For naming convention also, I think uh, they did it. Sir, what, is it? what is it? Hello? Sir, X. What is the number of students? X. Sir. The students, the students who are who are going to play that more than so like at least three games. Minimum of three games, you know. Is the qualified students? Yeah, yes, yes. number of students that are eligible for so let's go for let's go up third step. No, it's a reading that each particular card. Fourth step is reader. If the student yes, plays, yeah, if the student plays at least three games, go to the step number ten. Yes. What no. the step number ten is doing? Move the Do current, current card so in the file two. Sir, wrong. Repeat. Wrong. Repeat, repeat. repeat. So actually, what you have to do is, so whenever a student plays at least three games, we should require some count. Am I right? That's yes, what sir. I said. Naming convention, they used it. This is at least three games. This is exclusively cricket. This is exclusively football. Is it clear? Yes, sir. So, but what they did it in step number 10, move the current card to file two and repeat step number three. There is no counting process done on the X. This line is having some mistake. Remember that mistake. We'll rectify how it is. Step okay. 10. Step number 10 has a mistake. Fine. So let, let me go for that. If student plays the uh, cricket, C plus 1 is increased. If student plays football, football count is increased. Number of students who are able to play the football. Yes, sir. He, here, uh, eight, who, are, eight. who are playing that? Yeah, count of C plus F. Cricket count plus of both. Four. Okay. Then X is increased. No, oh, but it is not the wrong, condition no. like yes, yes it can also be wrong now yes yes so that's hello. what the thing hello ha uh, sir isme matlab increment kaise hoga x mein because increment they said it no See, increment word they said it that's what the wrong steps we are finding this is okay but this is okay here they are increasing x also so Okay. Fine. Be but X, we are it. maintaining exclusively for counting the students who are able to at least playing of three games. That's what the count we are maintaining, but not counting of C plus F. Fine. Fine. 
so that's what yeah sir uh, what is the difference between c and c plus 1 c and c plus 1 i i don't understand sir between c plus sir c plus 1 and count plus 1 c plus what is that please sir कौन सी जगह C यूज करना है और C प्लस वन C प्लस वन यूज करना है तो इंक्रीमेंट C मेंस इट इस इंक्रीमेंटेड तू वन या इंक्रीमेंटेड वन वैल्यू इंक्रीमेंटिंग वन वैल्यू इंक्रीमेंटिंग वन वैल्यू आई आई एम डूइंग इंक्रीमेंट मेंस व्हाउ मच यू आर इंक्रीमेंटिंग आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट What is happening here is c is equal to c plus one. One step you are increasing. That's what I want to tell you. That's the thing I did it plus one. Is it clear? Hello. Something, something, sir. Hello. Something, something, sir. What is something, something? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> increment c me. Increment c means how much you increment? Please tell me. If you are uh, sir, increment uh, is C plus one, but uh, but sir, बहुत सारी जगह C use करते हैं directly. तो ये समझ में नहीं आता. No no no. Increment is adding one. Increment means adding one. Increment yeah. means what? We are extending no, yeah, its value. C zero है भी. Increment C मतलब C one हो जाएगा. Yes. C increment. Oh, current value C Q S में plus one हो जाएगा. And yeah. And C is zero no, already. Places count is equal to count plus one. Hmm. Okay. Exactly. Increment means what is happening? You add plus one for C, add plus one for F. Why they are going plus one plus one is because of integer. I hope you know the integer data type. No. Hello. Okay. 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 Something. Something. Yeah. <laughs> you understood? Yes, sir. <laughs> because it's a increment. It's a integer data type. We are going for next integer. Zero is the first integer. One is the next integer. Two is the second, third, next integer. So keep on increasing. I hope you got it, huh? Yeah, yeah. Great, great. So now we go for. We have suspect on this eighth step, and we have a suspect on that tenth step. So let me go for the options. So fifth step, no? Fifth step. Yeah, yeah. Fifth step also. What is the fifth step? Is wrong? Yeah, yeah. That's what. Because of going. The tenth step is correct, no? Wait, wait. Let me see that because going for tenth step, what is happening? Move the current card to pile two and repeat step three. But actually, what you're supposed to do at least three games he is playing means you're supposed to increase x value. So let me go for that options they are giving. Step number five, rather than going step ten, the iterator can go to the six. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. You you are right. You are right. Rather than going for step ten, we don't want to go. We want to continue the step six. yeah clear so this is the wrong so this is perfectly a wrong one so step should 5 uh, will be correct if it is asking that uh, that the condition doesn't satisfy no no because because three. of because of go to the step 10 step 5 has to be corrected what way step 5 has to be corrected is so if student plays three games three games don't go for step number 10 Please continue step six and step seven. Fine. So step number eight is what? Let me go for yes. Here incorrect conditional statement. Yes, sir. Equality. So, yes, sir. yes, yes. Because the condition we are checking C plus F. So that is definitely wrong. Already I suspected then. Fine, this is wrong. So let me go for. Yeah, there is no other mistake. They said. C. What it's right. And this is what it's right. so this is exclusively called in a sequence it is not called by step number 5 it is exclusively called after step 9 not in the middle it is called so that so if step 8 has to be corrected what should be the correction be yes 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 there is explanation was given see look at if student plays uh only one of the cricket and football then C plus F should be equal to one, not two, at least one. So actually, the beginning condition itself he said it is you know, the student plays cricket or football, not both. 
if this is two means both of them are allowed both games here we supposed to make it here at one if i in the step number 5 ah. if i right if student plays at least three games hmm. increment x at least three games yes sir then it would be correct now then this is actually the second is... condition doesn't satisfy now so yes sir increment. Second because condition will not be satisfied. First condition is satisfied. Then how can we increment? Because it is asking for both conditions to be satisfied two. for incrementing see, x. See, the student who plays the three games, we don't need any count. Let him continue that text conditions. Both conditions must be satisfied. The student must play three games, and the same student plays either cricket or football, not both. Yes. Like like he can play cricket. He can play badminton. He can play carrom. No problem. But he cannot play instead of badminton. He cannot play football. I hope you got it. Hello. Yes, sir. Sir, but I am not getting like why it is not increment x because if, when we see Soumya card, like she is she is not playing neither cricket nor football. But the Soumya card is also given, so she is playing at least three games. So it is valid now. Yes, sir. See, you, uh, no, no, no. Either, either one of the game must be there. Where is Soumya card? Three, three games is there. Three games is there. Yes, sir. But then here also cricket and. But, 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 but no cricket is there. No, no football is there. Yes, sir. So, so that so, what happens? You know. Wait, wait, wait. Please go for it. Three games condition is satisfied. No problem. Six step it goes. Six step cricket is not increased. Fine. So seventh step football is not increased. Okay, zero zero is there. Am I right? C yeah. is zero, F is zero. Fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Zero plus zero is zero. It's not one. So incrementing of x is not done. Am I right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Incrementing of x is not done means what? We we did not get any player. That means she is not selected. The Soumya is not selected. I hope you got it. Okay. Yeah. Because both conditions must be true, this condition must be true, and this condition must be true. Student must play either cricket or football, but not both. This is nickel is valid because three games he is playing. One of the football or cricket is there, so that he is going to be selected. I hope you get it. Yes, sir. So that's what that's what the correction. So the step number ten is no way related to step number five. It simply closes, move the current card to pile two, and then just repeat the step number three for getting another card only. It's not doing any wrong because of calling of this from tenth directly. This is the problem. So that correction is there in step number five and step number eight. Step number eight correction is only one game should be played, not both. Then only we just, then only we got the player. Then only we got player. The count of player we got it into X. Got player X. Clear? Yes, sir. Sir, so you so sir, you mean to say that Soumya card is not selected because the second uh, like first condition is not satisfied. Yes. Your second no, condition. No, sorry. Second condition is not satisfied. See, Re Rehna created a procedure that counts the number of student who passes two conditions, not one of them. This must be true. This must be true. Not that only one of the condition. Is it clear? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, then sir. Only, got it. Then only that student is selected for the games. Yes, at sir. At least got three it. games. In that, at least one of the game, either cricket or football, should be there, but not both. Fine. Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Sir, graded assignment question. Hello. Sir, graded assignment question. Sir, I have dot in. Sir, I. I have brought in fourth question. Fourth question, okay. So third one. Yeah, third one and fourth one we are looking now. Yeah, fourth one it is. Is it any pseudo code given? Okay. First we will finish the third one. Yeah. See the words data set was given. Finds the number of sentences with maximum number of words. See the maximum number of words 
from the words that are said remember the sentence is ended with uh, full stop you know dot yes fine in so sorry fill the blanks given the choice to complete the procedure okay okay so now a and b and count are all three initialized to zero so pile one is empty then stop iteration read the top card of the pile one add one to that a see a is increased for each word am i right or wrong yes Hello? yes sir yes you are right a is increased for every word this yes, is what sir. please underline for every word this one please note down fine so now if word does not end with full stop then go to step number 11 so this word if it is not ending to that uh, full stop means last word of the sentence then it goes to that does not end with it so 11 step is move the current card to file 2 and repeat step 3 so step number 3 is getting another card another card maybe we are taking a sentence second word a sentence second word then second word we are getting second word also counted fine for example if any word full stop is there which is the last word of the sentence remember whenever the last word of the sentence is there the sixth step is not satisfied am i right or wrong yes, yes sir you are right except the last word remaining all the time the sixth condition works for the last word it doesn't work <coughs> it doesn't work for last word does not work for last word because last word ends with full stop then it goes to seventh step in the seventh step what you are doing is right now b is zero because maybe you find a last word but a is having some count of words like five or six or seven words count is there okay okay hello okay sir. okay then it checks the condition does a less than b but right now b contains zero b contains zero this condition is not satisfied now a greater than b yes maybe it is a first sentence then what do you do is a value assign to b okay one assign one count to count one what exactly you know whatever a is there a is nothing but the length of the sentence is assigned to b length of the sentence in terms of that words please remember in terms of sentence number of words so b is having the count of words of the sentence next time when you are repeating that is next word you are get next sentence you are getting means if, if the next sentence words next sentence words are again available from a because a is reinitialized to zero is it right yes a is reinitialized to zero again fresh count is started for a for the second sentence prior to that counting of second sentence first sentence words count is available in b words count of first sentence words count then a counting is started but some step is missing what is the step it is please here in the see maximum number of words procedure to find that number of sentences whose maximum number of words what is missing what is missing so it's missing when a equal to b when a equal to b yes so whenever a equal to b is there like you know the previous uh, sentence and current sentence is having same count of words then what do you do then what do you do what do you want to fill please what do you want to fill out of this add one to count the uh, options add C's. one or assign sir add add, sir. add, add, add one to count add one is okay but one more answer is there here yes sir if word okay. ends with top and a equal to b then also we are adding the counters maybe yes, both, may, maybe like you, you, you can try yeah you can write this one also yes and this one also 
don't assign it assign means what you know overrides assign and means overrides again equal to overrides but add means it's a increment add means increment is it clear yes sir, yes, sir. so here also assign is the mistake so here they want to target you that the assign not sir overrides overwrite means existing value will go off see look at a equal to some 5 is already there fine hello <coughs> sir continue hello a yes, is sir. already 5 is there if you do that add 1 to a what happens you know next step a value will become 6 is it clear yes sir yes sir so if it is 5 is there same way i am doing assign 1 to a what happens you know existing value of 5 is gone now a value will become 1 that's what overwrite it deletes existing value and puts new value okay. is it clear yeah yeah so that so, is what the uh, hello the, the question uh, in step number 9 what we have to fill is the question correct yes so uh, when we put if a equal to b hmm. then add one to count yes means we have a sentence where the number of words are equal to the number of words of the last sentence right yes yes then we are adding count yes correct? yes so what we are doing if we have two sentences with similar count with similar count yes we are we are saying we have uh, uh what do you say the, the question is number of sentences with maximum number yes, of words yes 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 so we have to count it only one right why you are adding one more count? no 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 see look at i am a boy there is a there is a sentence called i am a boy and i am a girl clear fine okay so this is also having equal length this is also having equal length so this is the previous word sorry previous sentence count this is the current sentence count sorry this is a previous i'm sorry i'm sorry this is a previous and this is a current one latest one clear okay okay whenever these two are equal also the count is increased because both But, of them are maximum no in the paragraph you might have sentences with maximum length and some of them are similar pairs like this is also having four length and this is also having four length okay is it clear? so if, if if you have three sentences of equal length okay yes so what is the count of maximum sentences you will write three three it will be that way is it okay. yes 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 count is not increased. one yes not one right not okay. one not one see here that's what the thing yes. assign is doing one one sentence is found here more sentences found means adding understood uh, that is that is clear okay Fine, no? now uh, come back the on the fourth point yes so when uh, the word ends with a full stop mm. and a equal to b mm. okay then adding one to count again mm. so means we have two two statements here right in step yes. number nine we have to add two statements yes. first statement is a equal to b add count second mm. statement is if word ends with full stop Mm. Th these two sentences we have to add is nine, right? This step yes, number yes. nine. Yes, either this one or that one, either A or C. It's either or both. Both, it's not. See, you can add it. Why they said it? You know, some particular students. See, look at a word does not end with full stop means when it is ending with full stop, it will carry on. This condition carry on. May maybe this is also perfect. Like a word ends with full stop, and having equal length. Maybe it is a last word. No. So it's either or uh, both. Both, both. This is and no, both. No, 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 no. We have to write in step number nine option mm. A as mm. well as option C. Both sentences we have to write. No, no, no. Only one. Only one. Either. Either a, of them. Ah, uh, either ah. A or C. Okay. So if it is C, let's assume if it is C. Mm. Okay. Mm. Now go to step number uh, six. Okay. 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 So when. step number 6 when it comes right when the word so then it oh, doesn't wait. process 7 and 8 and 9 no okay okay understood, understood. sorry okay. sorry okay i thought this it is, is only 
some particular students some particular candidate is very particular about he wants to check the full stop also that's case so that's it but actually step number 6 itself it is preventing the words sorry sentences which are sorry words which are not having full stop it is preventing it is coming yes. to 7 and 8 means definitely the word is ended with full stop exactly i mean th th there is no meaning of uh, if words yes, yes. with full stop exactly exactly perfect right okay, okay yeah only Fine. one statement is a correct statement here yes option a yeah option c doesn't have any meaning but some 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 of them synonym they they use it like a word and so double check option Fine. c will not get executed at all no no it is executed because we put it like a single sentence this entire c we will write in the step number uh, 9 as a single sentence like this complete one if word ends with full stop and a equal to b okay. all this is added like a single line no okay understood if it is avoided 6 7 and 8 and 9 is absolutely process no doubt clear sir then both the sentences will give the same output sir ah, same output yeah. same output same output the Either sir, or A and C, anything answer that's what MSQ they have given. No, it is multiple selection. So, multiple selection. No, where is the question? Yes, sir. Yeah, so that we have to select all correct options. Yeah, it is MSQ is written. Yeah, it is MSQ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So, generally, we, we do not one assign that. No, it will be select one, right? No, no, it is MSQ. It's a checkbox. Yes. Please check your dashboard. That's correct. When I select two options as a part of MSQ, mm -hmm. what does it mean? Mm -hmm. I will replace step number nine with these two statements, correct? No, it is oh, that okay. oh, all the possible things. All, that all, are, possible. Are, possible. all are possibilities. Yeah. Okay. All the possible steps we can put. A is possible and C also can be possible. Yes. Sir. In the C it's step, it's just uh, double checking that uh, it is. Uh, it double is checking, that's exactly double checking. He is very curious about even word ends with full stop also. That's what thing additionally they are checking. Fine. Sir, mm. sir, generally we do not assign the values. Now we generally add in pseudocodes. No, we can assign. See, look at already initialized to zero, reinitialize is there. Reinitialize okay. means assigning only, no? Okay, okay, sir. Yes, assign, sir. initialize, set, all these are synonyms, you know. Setting a value to a variable means it is initialized. Initialize, reinitialize. All these are setting value, assigning value. Clear? See, what is, you know, assign, sorry, assign, okay, initialize, initialize, reinitialize, because already reinitialize word is there. Word is there. Resetting the value, it will overwrite. Please remember overwrite. <clears throat> set the value. Somebody they might use it. Set the value. All these are synonyms. Simply we are storing a value into variable. Is it clear? Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. But adding means increment means that's the different. <clears throat> okay. Hello. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. I have a doubt. I have a doubt in, in this question. Mm. Uh, if uh, uh, step number uh, 8, mm. if A greater than B, store mm. A in B, mm. assign one count and mm. go to step 10 mm. and reinitialize re, uh, re A mm. is equal to 0. Mm. Then A, A getting 0? Yes, A is getting 0. If A getting 0, 0 greater than equal to B, B, uh, B is 1. Wait, wait. Not, I, I this statement is not Still true. Why you are reinitializing A is 0 is again fresh count of words is started, like a, another sentence is started. Maybe my college is IITM. This sentence is started, it means that. So, whenever this sentence is started, A started new count. New count means what again go for that next word. This word. This word, this sir, word. I could understand. Re initialize hmm. a to zero means a, hmm. a, a, a data is zero. Yes, a will become zero. If a zero, then hmm. uh, step number eight, we why, go. See, why, then, why to go for step number eight? Go for step number 11, then go to that and uh, go to the go another to, pile. Uh, and see, go to move the card, move the card, current card, 
लाइक माई वन एंड बी स्टोर वन वैल्यू केम which is having only 3 again fresh count has to be started fresh count means another 1 2 3 so 3 has to be updated so it has to reinitialize from 0 am i right hello okay sir okay sir right 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 so yes, when sir, re uh, reinitialize means uh, i i read a second uh, go to the second file and read a card one how many words are there like uh, Se i yeah, am a yeah. boy one, three then a is to the three is over first sentence is over again fresh oh. sentence is started means again the counting of words of the second sentence is again started from one two three so when it is started with one step number 5 reading the card so add one to as and when word is read word is read word is read from the pile immediately incremented a okay yes sir it is resetting okay. to zero reinitialized to zero whenever a new sentence is started remember it is new sentence is started new sentence started clear New sentence yes, have again new count of words. Am I right? Yes, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Fine. So let me go for fourth question. Sir, hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Is there b b become zero? Wait, wait. Or not? Yeah, b. It is initially it's zero. It never becomes zero. B always contains the track of the track of largest sentence. Sentence. count if one sentence is there one if two sentences is there then two is increased is it clear clear fine Sorry. because you are adding one count to no hello oh sorry uh -huh. count is increased but b is having always it is previous uh, sentence count only it is always one it's not uh, incrementing b is not increasing no it is having count of 1 as and when a new sentence is found with maximum words fine fine so but count is increased as and when it is equal to the maximum like first sentence found with 5 second sentence found with 2 words no problem again third sentence is there again same five words is there then number of sentences is in the count is going to be 2 because every maximum count he finds with it so that count is increased see because it is a yeah, where is it yes adding is done light 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 on okay okay sir in both cases we increase the count yes if yes a is both greater than b and if a is equals to b yeah What it is, is Greater than or equals to B. Which one? Equal to no. Hello. Yes, sir. Ah, equal to only. What is the problem? So she is saying increasing. first step. No, sir. Eight and nine. Eight and nine. Yeah. So eight she is nine. asking that we are incrementing the count when no, no, it is no. greater than. No, no, no. Eighty, eighty is not increasing. It's assigning. Please remember. It's not adding. it's assigning okay, sir. fine assigning okay, yes, sir, means fine. that existing value will go off for example we found that two sentences which is having 5 and 5 so count will become count will become what two you am i right hello yes sir so yes sir next another sentence i found it seven words is there then what will be the count it's one only it's not uh, three because we found the maximum word sentence is only one that's the thing it's assign it's not add i hope you got it okay yes, so sir. you got it fine so whenever fine. duplicate maximum count of words is there then only the count is increased 
as and when a new sentence which is higher than the previous two sentences then count will assign not add clear assign the current value yes, of yes that's exactly, clear exactly and exactly fine assign the maximum value okay yeah. excuse me sir yeah yeah just wait a one minute concept. i'll drink my water yes concept uh, dot sir wait 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 what just one Yes, tell me. Yeah, sir, tell me. One, uh, one conceptual doubt, sir. Uh, suppose hmm. uh, to find the minimum total marks in the score data set, you hmm. need to initialize the minimum total marks variable with the value of recommendation initial value for the variable depends on the range possible value in the data set. Now, wait, wait. Two minimum marks. You want to do it? Yeah. One min. One minimum. Two minimum. like uh, you have maths marks only let's we take it maths marks okay so only so for math marks oh, let you take maths marks 73 sorry yes let you take one maths marks okay 73 91 6 now you want to find out one max one minimum or two minimums one minimum one minimum means six you want to find out okay six hmm then what do you want to do tell me why sir six no no you want one minimum marks no out yes. of these out of these all the set oh. only one six is a minimum marks no yes you want to get it you but get two, this two two means second minimum yes 27 also you want to find out it hello okay sir Yeah, you highest highest number maximum. Highest. Highest uh, maximum numbers. This 91. is the highest ninety one. Okay, maximum mark you want to find out it. Yes. So then ninety one you get it. Okay, next next. Is that okay now or any other? Yes, sir, it's okay. So fine. Then what you do is, we we are we are doing it is you know, uh, reading. this could be read card <laughs> from file 1 so this file 1 is going to be collection of marks maybe maths or maybe physics or maybe chemistry is it clear yes sir so this one is repeated if and only if it is uh, not empty until that end of the file no if file one empty we stop it clear yes. now we read that one particular card from the file one so let it be that we want maximum we want to initialize one variable maybe like max what do you want to initialize the maximum here initial value starting value tell me 6 Okay, why it is six? Uh, actually, minimum value, na? No, no. See why you are fixing six. That's what the question. Either you you are thinking about one of them. You don't know what kind of marks is in the data set. The data set is a packed pile, packed and sealed and given to you. You don't know what is the minimum mark. So, what do you want to initialize now, please? It's initialized to. One thousand zero. No. No. Zero. Zero. Actually, zero hundred fifty, two hundred fifty. No, 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 no. Zero is a zero minus one. Minus one also perfect because yes, if if any particular student is absent, we'll denote with minus. If yes, any sir, student minus. is attended for examination, but he does not get any marks, so he will be initialized to zero. So it can be compared with any positive value am i right yes yes sir yes. so that's the thing please don't think minimum value of the set please think universally accepted value which is matching for comparison for your set 
so zero is definitely smaller than any of these data set you know hello yes, yes sir so after reading this card we compare if max is less than max marks that means first 73 has been read first 73 it will read because we are reading each card no first 73 it will read if zero less than 73 then what do you do then what do you do set or assign assign m to max so 73 will come to max now yes fine yes 73 sorry yeah next time second 91. second card is repeated 91 Yes, so max now max is seventy-three. So definitely ninety-one will come. This seventy-three will go off. Ninety-one will come. Then compare yeah. with six. Oh, no, six. twenty-seven. No, yes. eighty-three. No. no. So no. definitely final value is going to be ninety. Ninety-one. Yeah. Remember, taking initial value should be a easy, comparable, and suitable to the current case. Currently, what kind of comparison you are doing? Based on it only, you take it. Oh, because this data set is hidden your algorithm your procedure should be matched to any kind of data set okay okay sir Fine. so which is most appropriate zero or one minus one assigning value to maximum see see that was the thing somebody asked that minimum comparison if you do it somebody attended for examination but he, he is not attempted any question so that he gets zero so how can you represent that absent candidate Because the max is the integer data type, we cannot assign yes, a, a absent for a character data. We cannot do it. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. Value they ask it. That's what I said. Minus one. But here in this yes, case, sir. zero zero is a better one. Zero is a better. Okay, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay. Shall I go for the next question? Fourth question. Yes, sir. Somebody asked fourth question. Yeah. Sir. Yes. 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 So what what will be a minus b is representing after the following procedure is executed on shopping bills? Yes, shopping bills is having subsets also. Like you know, lists are there. So let me see that what happens. A and b is initialized to zero. If file one is empty, stop the iteration. This is generally we know that one top card we are getting. Yes, bill contains the item milk. Then add. One to y. So here it is incrementing is doing. What happens? You know, all the bills, all the bills. Okay, having item milk. Yes, item milk. Item milk. Item milk is counted. Then, is counted in y. Is counted in y. Am I right? Yes. Yes. It yes. maintains that all of the bills which are having item is milk. Clear? Yes. Yes. Sir. Fine. Now the name is Srivastan, and the bill contains the item is yes. Yes. Here the bill in the name of Srivastan, and the bill contains the milk. Then we are adding to B. So all Srivastan bills. Remember Srivastan bills only, not all the bills. Yes. Three Vastan bills. Have item milk is can. Yes. Which contain milk? Having item milk. milk. Can increment. Add so we have two three bills are there. Which bills yeah. are is there? That counting is done in B. Fine. Yes. Now, yeah, it is step number three is going. But now they are doing A minus B. So now total number of bills which are having milk milk item is there that A is there, and B is subtracting in that bills the three vast and bills of milks are subtracted. Fine. Yes. yes. Okay. Fine. So now let's we see that number of bills, number of three vast and bills which don't have no, which have no. Bills. Yeah. Number of bills. Number of bills other than three vast and. We no, don't sir. have no. This is not right. This is not. So option the C. The number of bills other than three. Yeah, yes, 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 correct. Yes, C other correct. other than three was done, and which uh, contains the item milk. Yes, sir. 
which contain the item mark sir sir yes sir. so that c is perfect fine yes sir. yes sir yes sir. fine yes sir the next so next i question. have one general question uh, yes yes but yeah okay so uh, in in the uh, exam right uh, mm. uh, in the quiz or the uh, qualifier mm. so uh, what do you recommend for example when we are going through this algorithms or the flow chart right mm -hmm. so if we are uh, trying to uh, do this in our head there is a high chance that we do a mistake because mm -hmm. uh, if we look at the activity questions and the graded questions or the practice questions we are doing very very silly mistakes here mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so do you recommend that uh, in in the paper we have to for example a equal to 0 b equal to 0 then we go so iteration to iteration then we count mm -hmm. do you want uh, should we do that way or we, we just uh, do it in our head and and, and uh, write the answer no no uh, right put it the pen on the paper and doing uh, is the right procedure <laughs> so that i that, see the try uh, run is better <laughs> uh, because i see a lot of silly mistakes are there exactly and uh, only we miss by one or two count only for example there are questions uh, how many iterations it takes okay mm -hmm. so when you just look at and try to do it in your head and try to answer right you you do it in a wrong way but when you sit with the paper and see okay iteration number one iteration number two yes. then you see it is n plus one iteration yes yes so dry run is definitely required a paper and pen and then do it then attain a value then put that value <laughs> that's better okay. that is so then then that that leads to another question so mm. uh, in in the exam uh, mm. it will be a one hour exam for yes. uh, for each of the subjects yes so typically how many questions we will have Maybe 12, 12. Hello? 12, 12 questions. The same yes. question. 12 questions each subject. 12 some of questions. them are complex. It English is more, 15. Some of them short. 12 to 15 questions. Yes, yes. 12 to 15 is there. Some of it's them are easy. Subject, some, of them, some of them is complex questions. Yeah, it varies. Yeah, like, you yeah. know, two but marks but questions is there. Three all marks. Quest, I think all questions should be code based. No, no. Some yes. of them are pseudo code. Some of them are proceed. Sorry, uh, flow chart. Okay. Okay. So there will be no theoretical questions, correct? No, no theoretical no questions. Theoretical. No. Computational thinking, theoretical questions, no chance. No chance. Okay. So what I see also is that some of the questions, you know, it takes six to seven minutes to solve. Hmm. So uh, the the exam is done in such a way that it is balanced, right? There will be some uh, yes. questions which yes, which yes. are yes, can be yes. done faster. Yes, because easy. when you are dry running every question, no, we will take more time. Exactly, easy questions and some of them are moderate, some of them are tougher. So you you have that uh, enough time for that all of the three. Okay. So then so why, easy why questions you, uh, by mind itself you can do it and uh, solve it. Right. Moderate so, and tough you require some dry run and do it. Okay, can we take some two moderate and two tough right now? Uh, uh, once uh, everybody's doubt is over. Yes, yes, yes. Just now, yes, 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 just now the minimum maximum. No, this is one example for that easy question. They they might give that one data set like you know this map this you know this marks data set they'll give it, and they'll give you that uh, this pseudo code or it might be procedure. They'll ask you what the maximum value. It's like one while loop with one particular if condition like you know okay. one so in other words uh, what i'm saying is that uh, if you have some earlier years graded questions uh, mm. graded assignment question mm. without the answer you put it here mm. we'll quickly try to solve and see oh, oh, what will be the output and what time it takes yes yes yes, yes. exactly exactly correct correct so exactly. uh, but because if you show us the practice questions if you show us the activity questions if you show us uh, uh, the graded questions, mm. uh, I, I don't think it might help much. Of course, it will help if there see, is see, a clarification. See. But see, we want more new which questions. Which of them are easy? Which of them are, uh, you know? See, see, look at the, this. Is this is okay? Wait, wait. No, th this is okay because uh, mm. we will be able to see. Given the time, we will be able to analyze since answers are also known to us. No, mm. we will be able to find it. Maybe mm. instead of five minutes, we take ten minutes and do it. Okay, mm. but what I'm saying, give us fresh questions, which will uh, test us a bit stronger mm. at the level of uh, the exam. Okay, 
if you look at the activity questions they are very normal questions if you look at the practice questions they are bit little bit harder mm. then if you look at graded they are m- bit more harder yes i am 100% sure the qualifier will be much more harder okay no no no, no. but qualifier is not m- very much harder <laughs> So it it no definitely it's not harder. <laughs> so because all this we we are we are doing you know the course content and evaluations and peer yeah. reviews we so are doing. So don't put all the tough and moderate questions in qualifier. So you put those questions here also, okay? Or mathematics, that mathematics. Lev- that level of questions you can only put. only in three levels. Whatever your practice, your uh, activity, and your graded all three combinations only. and while you are solving some questions in the quiz qualifier quiz you feel that oh this question is already done definitely oh okay then then you open up a 2020 uh, graded questions we will start solving them what is that 2020 2020 the, the qualifier qualifier questions you can open up where is that is it there in the dashboard no it's not there in the dashboard uh, okay. some uh, you might have be having right Okay. Okay. That means you. We want Previous that. Previous year questions. Our, our Previous database. Previous. Our database. <laughs> Actually, sir, YouTube. Yeah, sir. Their deep fact, sir. Their also mock test will be held. Sir, in YouTube, it is available. Maybe. Oh, sir, the level of value. I need to ask that operations team. May they. Many YouTube channels are available. Question. They are available, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, available. They are available. Yes, sir. YouTube channel. Uh, okay. Okay. One, then, then it's fine. Then it's fine. if the operations team will give it so definitely maybe in the next session we we can think about this one okay because still it is third week no started sir if you are able to solve practice and activity then we will able to solve the qualifier one also no like yes, is it yes 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 practice activity graded at least graded if you solve the 50% also it's good you can be easily attempt that qualifier no problem fine yes, sir Sir, sir, can sir. I ask a grade assignment question? Only one question I found. Sir, CT question nice, but uh, mathematics or aesthetic question. Hmm. This is tough. No, tough in the sense. What happens? You know, you have to revise your all of your basics yes, of yes, mathematics. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's only the thing. Even some kind of courses are definitely linked to that mathematics. That's hmm. the reason in the foundation level they said it is mathematics is very important. because you you are learning it's a data science track or it might be the programming or data structure track is there it links to the mathematics so that you required your mathematical thinking so yes, mathematical is thinking requires some kind of basic uh, kind of level initially you might have difficulty but just you you revise that whatever lecture videos are there so as and when you get the time immediately before the qualifier is conducted so definitely you can uh, crack this foundation no issues fine Okay. Yes. Yeah. So, for example, Satya, you are showing us the pseudo code. Mm. You are showing us the the way how we have to think to approach mm. a problem. Okay. Mm. Uh, w- what are the typical iteration that happens? What are the common mistakes that are happen? Okay. Mm. We are able to understand. Mm. But some cases in mathematics, no. For example, we are trying to uh, find a reflexive or symmetric and all. Okay. Mm. Mm. How it is related to which part of data science is not told at all, or we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they are asking symmetric in this one. Yeah. So you are these are no these are also doubt in class twelfth, and these are also doubt in data science. Right, right. I'm hundred percent sure it is taught taught in eleventh, twelfth, and all. Mm-hmm. But how it is practically used in data science? I think you you have some examples, no? Actually, memory based memory. Oh, you you want I example think... which is matching to that uh, your next level I of learning? Yeah. Exactly. Then mm-hmm. I'll be able to appreciate it, no? Okay, okay, okay. For example, I'm 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 uh, trying to find a function, whether it is a uh, equivalence relation or not. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, to that I have to understand what is reflexive, all that stuff, symmetric mm-hmm. transit, and all. Of. Now, how in what? Give me a problem statement of data science where this is used. Mm-hmm. Siva, I think this application part comes later in the diploma and yes, advanced okay. studies. Yes. No, no, no problem. Now you have this is now this time. Qualified. No, no. I am not saying that we we are going deep into the data science. What I am saying is that we are learning something for which we have to appreciate, correct? <laughs> Because we we should know that what will come ahead. So if we are given a guidance, okay, this is how in the data. Uh, for example, a pile of data is there. 
they are uh, asked you to analyze that time you have to use equivalence relation if you are able to tell a high level stuff no then it is e e easier and uh, we will be not uh, what do you say uh, doing a degree for sake of doing it we are learning if we, we cannot understand. understand here how can we go to the application part the basics are yes. very it's foundation right now yeah no no I, but he is asking a good question right. he is asking a good question like he is like motivating us to know what is like why we are you studying this things he is right uh, like yeah. that's all doubt is clear in ml Machine learning program. Yeah, actually, right. I'm not saying that we should not understand what is equivalence relation, what is topics. We, I'm not. I'm not saying that we should not understand. I'm saying when you understand this, link it to the data science or any uh, thing. Uh, real world know. problem. Ah, uh, real I world problem. Real. If you link it, right? It is not needed at the fundamental level. Right, sir. Yes, yes. Can we discuss uh, some questions now? This time, activity and. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah, uh, hello. Yes, sir. So now I'm going for somebody asked about a quick summary of each. Is it okay? Yes. Somebody asked no. No. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. So I'm going for a quick summary of this week too. Sir, I have doubt in uh, grade assignment. Can we take uh, just a few week minutes? Two, week two graded. Yes, sir. I hope time is there or not? Time is there, but I am not. Sir, some 19 minutes left. I am, uh, I am uh, what, just please describe the question. Question number five, sir. Oh, which one? Question I, number five. I, I should not discuss it, but I just I can give you that uh, what clue is that. That's it. Yes. Five. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. What type of answer this question? I don't understand because uh, if uh, the uh, stores is three, then the barrier record four, but it is three and more. What? How much more? I what is more? Know. More is not there no, here. Four only there. Big Bazaar, SC but the, stores. But the professor asked out only three stores. But but here four. What is there? More supermarket. You know that more. No more store. You yes, know that. Sir. That is what. No, no no more store. You don't know even real life. North India will not know that. How much more, sir? More supermarket, which no, is also a one supermarket. In South India. That is the name. It is the name, ah, of, name, a name of a supermarket. It's the name that's of the supermarket. That's what they they suffix it with supermarket. See, look at supermarket. It is okay. something like same big bazaar. Another, SV another, store. Ah, another store. It's a Sun General. Okay. It's another store. SV store yes. is another general. Is it clear? That is the doubt. I I I think that is more, more, more how much more that. No, that it's not name of the supermarket. It's it's a supermarket name name of the store. Okay. Yes, it's the yes, name I of the popular know. store which is yes. there in South India. Okay. Yes, 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 okay. maybe. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, Thank got you, it. Sir. Fine, fine. Yeah. Any confusion, such things, please let me know. Shall I go for the summary then? Yes. Yes, sir. It's a quick summary. I'm going. Uh, see, look at here. Iteration. What exactly it is? You know. So one job you are repeating continuously until a particular condition is false. Like you know, when the pile is empty, like you know, termination of the iteration when the pile is empty. Like your 30 cards are there. So all the 29 cards it read, 30th card also it read. When the 30th card is read, the pile will become empty immediately. It stops the iteration. What simply it is, it is going the flow and the flow is again it is repeated where it is begin so this is also a condition like our if condition but only the loop is continuous the loop is continued okay so here conditional termination is stops the iteration when the desired or specific data is found remember specific data in the sense specific data in the sense maybe it is a true or false what exactly it is 
ट्रू आर फॉल्स ट्रू आर फॉल्स स्पेसिफिक डाटा इज फाउंड मीन यू आर गिविंग वन कंडीशन इफ द कंडीशन इज ट्रू इफ द कंडीशन इज फॉल्स देन वी स्टॉप द इटरेशन दैट्स वॉट इट रियली so iteration is a repeating job or whenever a particular condition is satisfied whenever a particular condition is not satisfied example termination of the iteration is the pile is empty or sometimes a conditional break also we can give it that is stop the iteration when a desired condition is found like a false condition or a true condition see yes, see, see yeah file one is there check the desired card and stops the iteration when the card is found so every time every time check the desired condition stop the iteration when the condition when the card is found maybe you are searching for a card who is male as and when male is found it stops as and when a female is found it stops in that way clear that's what exactly here every time you are doing that iteration during that time you might take the help of another pile file one data is filtered and it might be stored into file two okay fine file one data is taken and checked with the desired condition and it is filtered into file two okay then hello yes sir so, so now let's we talk about example see look at find a card so i'm making a little bit zoom find a card which all the subject marks are above 90 from the scores data set so what do you do us so whatever the subject marks above 90 from the scores data set we want to find out that card okay so what do you do us we are repeating one set of loop one set of instructions one set of instructions that set of instructions are continuously repeated until we found a card wherever a particular score card found above 90 in the way find a card which three different categories of items present in the shopping bills data set like you want to find out a category of the milk and category of the stationery a category of from furniture if all three categories if you found it then we stop it that's what as and when that card is there so let me go for a detailed example see look at the detailed example wait yeah here is a detailed example look now uh, we have taken a is true so after that if file one has more cards and a so remember these two conditions are satisfied like the file one not empty a must be true whenever a must be true then only it enters into the loop this is called iteration here iteration is repetition repeating of the particular job okay so read the card x if the card x city is chennai so a will get it done false false means the same loop is trying to repeat second card if first card first card city or town what do you say that city of town is bangalore so whenever bangalore is found this condition is not satisfied a still remains true when the second card is red second card because iteration is repeated no when the second card is read we found the card chennai immediately a will become false again third time the iteration is going on we found the chennai when chennai is found a will become false so whenever a will become false this condition is true but this condition is false one of the condition is false because of the and please remember here and is used the logical operator if true and true only repeats if true and false means it stops so that this is going to be stopped is it clear hello is it clear 
yes yes sir. so, so that's, yes, sir. A, that's a thing this particular loop is stopped if any of the two conditions is false any of the two conditions maybe until the all the cards are finished you don't find any chennai also it stops maybe while searching the cards you might any card is found with chennai also it first stops both of them clear so the textual representation they are talking about pseudo code this is uh, the textual representation textual representation is the pseudo code is textual representation so yeah see look at textual representation uh, count is taken initially zero now pile one has more cards pick a card x from the pile one count is increased by count plus one once the counting job is done that card is moved to pile 2 so if 10 cards is there it becomes 9 it becomes 8 7 and keep going it becomes 0 whenever this particular uh, pile it becomes 0 it stops it so what really the count contains is initially it's 0 later it is increased it is having total count of cards total count of cards so this is assignment c equal to assignment here what they are doing you know assignment with addition what do you call this one assignment with addition remember assignment with addition so first they are doing add operation whatever the result of the addition we got it that is assigned i hope you got it fine yes sir so please understand both of them are assignment only but only thing is it's a direct assignment of constant here some calculation is done after that it is putting the value into sum fine and then here we are, we are going that another operator which is that equality equality condition so here the equality condition is compared with double equal to. So this is differentiate between that equality and assignment. This is equality. Equality. Checking the relationship between two variables. Two variables you want to check the equality. This is storing value. Storing. Putting value. So here, this is what kind of operation? This is assignment or equality? Assignment. 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 Story. This is assignment. What about this? Equality. 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 So equality. It is a relational operator. So the result of this one, it is integer stored, integer stored. But the result of this A equal with B, it's going to be Boolean value because the equality you are checking here again just you are storing here again it is the result is boolean value because of boolean value because of the condition or relational operator you are checking so this is what yes now please consider this one conditions which are that one time condition one time condition is if is always one time condition taking a first card and check the condition either that is true or false that's kind of true this is a simple if what exactly this is simple if condition or someone says is single if condition simple condition this is what it contains you know two way two way condition you might have true side is there sorry you might have true true side is there and false side is there two way condition true side is there false side is there that's what true side is if and false side is else this is one way or simple if and when you go for while it is a repeating one same job is repeated number of times 
so this number of times is based on the condition if condition is until the condition will become false it's going to repeat that again and again whenever the condition will become false it stops i hope you got it this one is is it clear yes, yes sir. sir so this is what uh, oh. the summary of the unit 2 so any other things please let me know any of the general question about summary week 2 Uh, I was small doubt in activity. Can mm. you take it, sir? Yes, yes, sure, sure. Is it ninth one? Uh, no, sir. Tenth one. No. Activity, no. No, sir. Practice. Sorry, sir. Practice. Sorry. Practice. Okay, okay. Sorry, sir. Practice, practice assignment two. Question number second, sir. Is it the practice assignment two only? Yes, sir. Practice okay. one. Okay. Question number two. Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, I have doubt in step number two. Like, is it necessary? Like, we have to always initialize variable to zero. Wait, Can't wait. we initialize variable to one? Wait, wait. Yes, sir. Yes, tell me. So here we have to identify the uh, wrong steps, now. So uh, I I have a doubt. Like here, uh, step second is also wrong. Mm. So here uh, it is like initialize variable a to one. That's mm. why it's wrong. Mm. Uh, so it should be initialize variable a to zero. Then mm. it will be correct. Mm. But my doubt is like why we have to always initialize variable to zero, like count zero, sum zero, or variable a to zero. Can't we initialize to one? Yes, yes. We can initialize to one also. But thing is, what is this case? We will see that. See, look at. The following procedure takes the scores data set and counts the number of female students whose physics marks are more than chemistry, but less than maths marks. Okay, and stores that variable into a. Okay, where the physics marks? Where you know, physics marks is more than the chemistry. Fine, fine. Okay, okay, okay. So what exactly the programmer might have doing the mistakes? Assume that. Okay, so here. at least one student is there so anything if you want to count it initially it has to be started with zero only that's sure no doubt uh, reason is uh, look at you know uh, we are taking uh, like 15 students are there fine if you initialize that zero then zero plus one it will become it is one but already existing one is there already existing one is there so that increment you are doing yeah here it is addition you are doing so already existing one plus one it happens is base value it is one is there even we found one student you will get the count of two this is what the problem that's the thing we are taking a zero here taking one is gives you that one bad result that's the reason only they are taking that's what the thing and what is the other mistake uh, actually it is mistake. it is not it is not must actually some cases are there we must initialize one i'll tell you that case also when it is i'll tell you so once this problem is ended we'll find one more mistake five so i got the right answer step five i got it because like mathematics marks should be greater than physics Maybe. marks the range is mathematics chemistry marks but less than the mathematics marks okay here Yeah, here it is. The condition is wrong. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, yes. so here we should initial, initialize variable a to minus one. No, like zero can be possible. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That's what I am talking about. Why it has to be initialized to zero? For this case, it is definitely has to be initialized to zero. Fine. Sir, mi sir, minus one. No, not minus one. Not minus one. If you give minus one. Minus one plus one is what happens? Please here okay, adding okay, one, sorry. I was it will become zero. It will become yes, zero. Sir. So no, let sir, us we sorry. take one realistic example where you need to initialize one, not zero. Shall we discuss about this one? One realistic example scenario, not this problem. Please forget about this problem. 
Yes, where sir. You, where you should initialize the definitely one. We should not initialize zero. Fine. Yes, sir. So le no. let us let us we we have that. Uh, Hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Sir, uh, what is the meaning of the the initialization? Reinitialize means resetting the value. Already existing value is overrated. For example, a is five. Now, a is reinitialized. Reinitialized with zero. With zero, what happens? You know, this five will go off. A will become new value zero. Fine. Yes, sir. That's what reinitialize. Fine. Yes, sir. Okay then. So, yes. the, is it clear? Reinitialize is nothing but assigning only. No problem. Assigning, setting, uh, storing, uh, and reinitialize. All these are same. No worries. Okay, sir. Adding means increment. Fine. F fine, sir. Fine. fine sir. So now, now let us we go for one more realistic example. See, we we are having. Uh, do you work with uh, some kind of uh, uh, check boxes in the web pages? You know, web pages you work with it. Yes, sir. So generally, we see that the web pages. You know, there you will find it. Check boxes. The check box it contains that a question. Are you local? Fine. There is a question might be there. Are you local? So by default, the checkbox is on. Is it clear? Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, by sir. By default, the checkbox is on. How it is on? You know that it initial value is one. Clear. Yes, sir. Got it. Similar way, you you will find one kind of list box. Maybe the list box is having. List box is having list of capitals or list of states. What it contains, you know, list of states of India. Clear. By, de by default, they make available Delhi as the first option. Okay. So as and when list is shown, by default, Delhi is selected with dark blue color. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's what at this case they initialize that initial value of this one is one, and sometimes the owner of the website or company they they established in Bangalore, Bangalore is available in third location, so they'll set initial value of the A is three, maybe them, sometimes. So as and when list is popped, the default is available with Bangalore. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Such kind of real-time scenario, other than counting, other than counting, at that time definitely we are going to set the default value is other than zero, something like one or two or six, something like you know, list of options, either true, true or false, something like that, local or non-local in that case. Okay, your favorite code uh, in that case. So, like by default, one item is already selected. You know, is it clear? Yes. Yes. So yes. That's 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 realistic examples where you you will have that setting the initial value of that procedure uh, is one yes, state sir. at least instead of having empty, we select one default state. What do you say the default? You know, I hope you find the word default. Oh yes. Default is available this city. You can select other city if you. Want to away from that city? Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Pretty much enough, I think. So, any clarifications further, please? No, sir. Hello. Shall we wind up the session? Yeah. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Please, please refer yes, it. Even I, I remembered that. What is that? At least and at most and as much, I'll compare with that real time scenario. So, at the next session, I come with some kind of simple example. What can differentiate between that at least and at most, and compare with as much as? Okay. Yeah, Disharani, someone asked to ask a question. Hello, Disharani. Am I audible? Oh, uh, so. 
हेलो सो कैन यू हियर मी या या आई एम एबल टू हियर यू देन सो कैन यू जस्ट चेक द चैट वंस या 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 still if that if i am correct not i have a doubt on the graded form no no the uh, above aditya agarwal oh, yes yeah yeah uh, uh, so uh, all in loo the loop will run until the card chennai is found okay and a will turn to false no 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 so you are asking about uh, the first one yeah the yes. first example you gave right wait wait, uh, wait. this one no <coughs> that's in uh, here only no wait wait yeah the here. first uh, here here hmm yeah yeah that. this one yes okay okay yes, yes so what's your doubt i am understanding this one let me understand okay so all the cards yeah all the cards loop will run until the card chennai is found yes once the chennai is found immediately it stops a will turn to false okay as and when any one card is found in the chennai immediately it stops okay, okay. yeah since yeah, yeah. the while condition is not fulfilled not fulfilled means both conditions must be true yeah, but one of them that. is false yeah so that it stops it okay ha huh, yeah exactly okay. exactly correct, correct. you are right you are right no doubt in that <laughs> yeah okay vishara sir Ali? yeah so sir just called Thank out hmm uh, yeah, yeah. what we initialize maximum in scores like minus 1 no 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 see the minus 1 is not correct zero is a better zero, case zero is correct okay maximum. zero is a better case zero is a better option sir i think sir? there should be minus 1 why yes, it, it should be, be zero minus because one? Uh, sir uh, the cards in the minimum number of card is zero See, let let That's us consider, let us consider our data set is having definitely all of them are minus minus required to find the grade of a student. Sir, first so card is started is from zero. No, no, no. Sir, if I am asking like maximum what we should in, uh, initialize like somebody has scored maximum zero, somebody has scored marks zero, then we should assign see, maximum see. to minus one, na? See, see, see. In our cards data set scores data set, no scores is having that minus value. is it clear yes sir and yes, no sir. scores is having yes, zero value yes sir so that we can prefer that zero only don't go for minus sir i am telling that uh, the card number is zero the first card is started its okay. number is zero hmm you can check in the data set sir no that is sequence number that is sequence yeah. number yeah, sequence yeah. number she is not yeah. talking she is about marks sir. we we never filter based on sequence number okay the mark should be initialized okay, okay. maximum to zero no so we we don't have that any kind of procedures and the pseudo codes on the sequence number all of them are based on other fields like math marks physics chemistry name date of birth and city not on the sequence number ha huh? sir minimum marks so what is the minimum marks is the problem minimum marks is two ways sir. number one is that maximum mark of that subject like minimum marks you want to find out in a subject means we don't have more than 100 okay mm. so you can initialize minimum with 100 and above that's okay 100 to 1 101 is perfect value okay even you take 1000 also perfect value above 100 yes. it makes any value is good in a particular subject yes that is a perfect value For so example, so maximum max of total you want to find out. Then what is the best value? Three hundred. Yes. Oh, zero. Three hundred above. Yes, sir. Minimum. Yeah, Min minimum only. I am telling about. I am telling about what is the initial value of the minimum is three hundred above. Like three not one, three not two is a better choice. Yes, sir. Fine. Yes, sir. So, so, sir, so maximum should be zero for the scores, now. Exactly. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Because no value is there in the data set with negative or zero. Fine. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Anything else? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, then bye. 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 Yeah, Disha Rani, raise your hand. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Disha. Disha, I think you are in mute or what? Uh, you are. You are not audible. 
maybe you are her mic room. her mic is not working sir yeah yeah that's what any question yeah sir my mic is not working i have a doubt on the week to graded question four four okay, yes. okay okay let me go for see i cannot uh, explain you full details but just i can give you the clue only week to question number 4 graded question number 4 yes see look at uh, this one is the students who are below average the marks he or she committed a mistake so already assumed that average marks is calculated into a variable fine into a variable it is calculated and stored fine so after that number of students who are below the average marks they want to count it so count was taken disha are you following are you following disha just ping me in the chat box yeah fine that's great that's great see that's okay initialize the count of the students is zero or uh, stop the iteration when the pile is empty okay so read the top card okay uh, and then they are comparing or using relational operator between average and total comparison or logical sorry relational operator they are using and based on the result of the relational operator they are storing the value sorry adding not storing please remember adding the value to the count fine fine here it is a mcq there you have only one mistake you you need to find out that only one mistake disha you have that only one mistake fine okay okay yeah still anybody else still hey, somebody is asking some more doubt venkat satya uh, yes sir yeah Tell sir me. actually i have a question in practice assignment 2 sir practice assignment 2 yeah first question practice assignment 2 okay yeah fine okay okay here yeah okay so the procedure it counts the number of students from mumbai okay yes, total sir. marks more than the average marks from the scores data set already a stored variable is there a average t is already there okay the programmer have made a mistake identify such steps if any it's a msq fine fine okay okay so arrange all the cards initialize a with zero file one is empty read the top card so city is mumbai only yeah who is from mumbai and total marks more than the average marks then add one to a so here mm -hmm. wait 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 city or town is mumbai more than the average marks total marks okay number of students sir here my question is hmm. uh, actually i have uh, uh, my answer was step 5 sir step 5 okay so uh, but step 5 is yeah tell me how, how do you defend that it's a step correct. 5 is incorrect. so yeah so why are you saying uh, thinking that step 5 is uh, incorrect is hmm. the average marks he just mentioned Mm. But he did not mention whether it was calculated, how it was calculated anywhere in the... No, uh, no, 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 no. It is average means it is calculated. See, let's uh, average to be calculated. See, average. Average, see, that already they said it, no, in the top question. Mm. Let average mm. to be 
the average of total marks that means all right. the students average is calculated mm. and stored into avc you don't worry about that like sum of all totals and divided by number of totals okay actually yeah, that that was my uh, doubt no no uh, no, no. Okay. so that's not right second step they have given no initialize to j a is zero that's perfect yeah. because every time initialization has to be done because once that particular or uh, this particular procedure is started means before starting count we require definitely initializing zero right yeah, okay, okay sir you can leave that uh, uh, next question is uh, in the question number 11 sir question number 11 wait question number 11 yes this one yeah okay okay tell me yeah first uh, the question out here in this uh, question was mm. so if you see okay uh, line i mean below the diagram sir below the mm. diagram yes using the created data set mm. that means there are two data, data sets that are created so using the created data set rahena created a procedure to count the number of students who possesses the following conditions so both conditions must be true uh -huh. so, correct so here the a bit of confusion is should the should we consider both and or r at both, least both and true. only and only okay so both conditions. that means this student is eligible because three games minimum is there correct and one of them is cricket not both ha huh. this student is not eligible reason is three games is true but at least cricket or football is not there hmm correct so that he is not there he is hmm. there in the list so okay. that it is and okay but both so conditions can... must be true okay. based on it only it will run it okay okay then uh, fine uh, yeah i i think i am okay sir but let me just uh, rethink and uh, if there are any doubts i will just ask sir in the same sure, thing yeah, sure, sure, sure. thank definitely, you sir definitely okay yeah any clarifications no sir thank you yeah, sir thank you hello sir thank yeah, you yeah. hello yeah tell me sudipta sir so, uh, could you go through practice assignment question number 3 question number 3 question number three. yes question number 3 okay yeah question number 3 is so this procedure to find out the number of sentences with maximum number of words in the data set okay number of sentences okay so fill the blank with the given choices yes 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 so here arrange it both of them is initialized to zero okay so remember this is a and b and c count let's we consider a is increased one and b is increased one and and the count is increased one okay remember a, a is incremented a is incremented a will continue that a will continue that count of words in the sentence okay count of words in the sentence is it clear yes sir like i am a girl so that it is having that three words three count is there fine fine Fine. Yes, so sir. file one is empty. Stop iteration. Read the top card. That means one word. Add one to a means a will become plus one. As and when a new word is found, immediately a is increased to plus one. Okay. As and when a new word is found. Okay. Fine. Yes, so sir. now, if word does not end with full stop, then go to step number eleven. If, if for example, I am a girl. is it clear now here full stop is there first word is it ended with full stop no second word no third word no fourth word no so by this time a will become four is it right is it right or wrong oh, yes yes so whenever a reach to that yes, complete sir. sentence count if a less than b no it never happens right now b contains zero only at this step a greater than b yes a greater than b is happened because b is already contains zero fine a contains four is it right yes yes now store yes sir store 
a in b and assign one to count so b will get four and count will get one four. one 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 so because assign one it's not adding yes. so what is this count you know it maintains it that is. number of sentences which are having higher length of sentence like a higher count of words fine that count is available yes, with sir. b fine yes, now a will reset to zero again a will reset to zero so a will be again counting that next zero. sentence next sentence may be a bigger sentence a bigger sentence which is having six words fine is it clear yes if six words is there then it yes, checks sir. then it checks a less than b no if six words is there if for example three no. words is there then it goes to step number 10 so right now it's it's not happened no problem but here the filling of the correct option is filling of the correct option is please look at yeah here look at two options you can fill it as and when for example you you might find you might find two sentences which are having equal length i am a boy and i am a girl is it clear i am a boy and i am a girl yes sir both of them are having same length and third sentence is i am busy clear now this sentence is having four yes, this sentence is having four what happens you know if a and b is equal add one to count then number of sentences which are having maximum is count will become two is it right or wrong is it right or wrong yes sir right sir so that's the thing we are adding right a, sir yeah whenever similar kind of words for similar kind of sentences which are having the higher count of words then definitely we will increase that count value and it is also matching for this one also if word ends with yes. full stop and it is having the similar length of a and b then also we are adding it but we don't choose this one and this one because they are I doing do assigning the assigning means it overrides the value add means it will increase it will increase achha, achha, is, it right? yes, is it clear yes. that's the thing we choose that yes. a and yes, yes, a yes, and yes. c is the right options okay yeah thank you yes sir thank you sir uh, some venkat satya prasad babu hello uh, yes sir yeah tell me sir actually it's the same question in continuation of the same last question okay practice assignment 11 question hmm. number 11 okay okay i'll test 11 Is it eleven? Yes, sir. Not this eleven. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going for eleven. Yeah, I'm going for eleven. Yeah, this is eleven. Yeah. Mm. So, so here, yeah, first question uh, is already answered mm. uh, that uh, we should take the end. And now, if you go down, go to the down, sir. If you go down Wait, below, yeah. I'm going. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So they are saying uh, correct the say you no know, mistakes. Ah, mm. uh, and then. So actually, if this student uh, plays mm. at least three, mm. then go to step ten. So, so in yes, yes, yes. Yeah, here, here it is a wrong. Yeah, they, there, here we have to increment the at least the count. See, see, we we don't increment. We continue these six and seven steps. We 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 just replace this one. We just remove it. Okay. If student, it is three games. Uh -huh. Then we check in that three games, cricket and football is there or not? We check it. Oh, then these these statements should be a part of the if statement, sir. Yes, this should be there. This should be five should be there. Six should be there. Seven should be there. But in the eighth, there is a problem. Correct. It should be less than or less than two. Yeah, exactly, less than two, or it might be equal to one. Uh, no, then it will not zero will not come, sir. No, no, no. Oh. What happens? Zero means they should play either cricket or football. Oh, okay. So it should be it should be equal to one. Yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, okay. One game should be there, no? In ah, the three games, at least cricket mm -hmm. or football. 
correct so okay. now now sentence uh, step 6 7 mm. and 8 mm. uh and 8 should be within the step 5 if if statement correct sir no 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 if statement we leave it like that only if the student plays three games mm. so then we continue step 6 we don't go for step 10 sir problem is if we leave that sir uh, if the student let's say does not play two games yes okay then this so, condition is not satisfied it is not satisfied okay. so it comes down okay and then it checks if he plays cricket or football then it it increments which Wait should not happen c is incremented fine yeah F is incremented. F is maybe incremented or not? Maybe cricket. Uh, let's say, let's say F is not incremented, sir. Let's say. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Ah. Uh, so then uh, now, now what happens? You know, one is we are getting value one. Correct. Then X no. is incremented. Ah, uh, but X should not be incremented wait, because wait, wait. he did not. He doesn't play three games. Yes. Yes. Wait. Here X is incremented. Okay. Mm. Uh. So here, yeah, it is number of that. No. Wait. 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 Here maybe the option. Five correction. They might give full details. No. What are the full details they have given? Let you see that correction in the step. Rather than going to step, yeah, it is goes to six. No, going to the six is there. No, going to six means you don't yeah. have to go to ten. If you remove it, it it goes to the next step. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Correction. But what yes. I am saying is, what I am saying, sir, mm. it should go to step six. Hmm. It should go to the step six. Exactly. But No, no. It should go to step six, but still there is a problem, sir. If step six, seven, eight should get executed only if the uh, if statement in the step five holds true. There is a true is required. You mean that? Correct. One if, true flag is required. Ha, huh, correct. If the student uh, here itself, it is already there, sir. If the student plays at least three games, mm. then only these three steps should be executed. That should be there. Understood. No, no, no flag is required. It is already there. If the student no, plays, no flag is required. But thing is, please, these two are nested inside the first if condition. See, these two are sub conditions. Sorry, nested one. See, if this is true, correct. Then inside two conditions are checked. Correct. Exactly. Correct. And sir. if okay. Is it clear? Correct. So step six, seven, eight wait, 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 wait. should get executed. Ah, uh, only if uh, step five is true. Yes, yes. So step five, for example, a student played three games. Hmm. In that cricket is there, you mean, or not yep. there? Ah, uh, cricket is there, and <laughs> plays, let's say a student plays only cricket, sir. Let's say only only cricket. Okay. What happens? What happens that this condition will become false? Correct. So whenever this condition will become false. It doesn't go for inner if conditions, no. Correct. It should not go, sir. Right, no. Yeah, yeah. It should not go. It's not going because these two are nested inside the first fifth condition. If, but that is not mentioned here, sir. I mean, in the in the code here, you don't get that. Actually, I mean, you, there is no bracket or anything. Okay, to... okay. Subordinate. It has been no indentation was there. Correct. That's what I am saying, sir. Okay, okay, okay. This indentation, if they'll give it. So if then, this then, condition is false, it goes to eighth step only. Doesn't go for these two. Correct. Hmm hmm hmm. Hmm. Correct. 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 You are right. You are right. I I noted that one. Uh, some corrections I'll do it in future. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Okay, sir. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. This yeah, indentation well, definitely required. No. Yeah. How can we know that six and seven is dependent on five? That's what right. your question. Am I right? Yes, sir. Exactly. Exactly. You, yeah. And especially it is true. Hmm. If we say that. The student has to satisfy both. Mm -hmm. Let's say if we say student mm -hmm. has to satisfy either of the one, then it makes then it is okay, sir. Then yes, it yes. goes to the next step, and indentation is not required. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, welcome, sir. Thank you. Yeah, shall I close the session then? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. Bye, everybody. Good evening. Bye. Good night. Bye. Time stopping, huh? Bye, sir. Bye, bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Good night, sir. Good night, good night. Bye, bye.